Come here, big fella. He almost had me toe. <laughs> he almost had me toe. Can I have a go at it? Got him. Oh. Look so at the size of that thing. That is yellow belly, is it? Huh? Oh my God. Look at the size of him. Welcome back everyone. Today we've come back out for a round number two. Some people recognize this big old gum tree. I come here about a month ago and set a couple of traps around this big tree. Big old ancient gum tree. Uh, the water level is up a fair bit. Uh, last time I was here all the roots were exposed. And there was there's just habitat under here everywhere. And what happened is I set a trap right here, right in front of this tree. Expecting to get bucket loads of yabbies and I got absolutely nothing. So I've come back today with some different bait um, just to see if my theory's right. I reckon it was the bait that um, was the reason I got no yabbies. And today, I've got a big old chunk of lamb bone, the old trusty bait that never fails. So we'll set it here today with the big chunk of lamb bone and see how we go. I'm going to set it right here, smack bang in front of this big old tree. I might be a little bit too far out, but I remember the roots come way out here. So I don't want to get too close or I'm going to get tangled up. I'll go and tie this fella off. And the second traps I'm going to put here, there's a little um, inlet type eddy area right in here full of sticks. Comes out into the main creek. We've got an overhanging dead gum tree, another overhanging dead gum tree here right, right under. Sticks everywhere. Perfect habitat. And last time I wasn't too far from here. It was only just over there and I got two yabbies. So, and I was using um, chicken feet for bait. This time, big old chunky um, vertebrae of a lamb bone. So we'll see if the bait makes the difference. And while we're waiting for those traps to soak, I'm probably going to give them a good hour. What I've got is a little worm and a bobber. It's only set about four inches because I want to keep it well and truly off the bottom here. Or all we're going to catch is um, yabbies on the rod, which we may do a bit of yabbying with some lines in a little while. And I just want to see if we can jag a yellow belly first. I'm just at this little part of the creek and I'm being very sketchy. It's probably, it's a nice looking little part. It sort of narrows up here. I reckon it's probably a bit deeper, but I mean, all, all this overgrown bloody um, swamp rubbish, flood rubbish, and I reckon there's a big Cedric hanging out in here, so I'm just stomping my feet, making plenty of noise. That bloody wind this morning's not real favorable. I was up there, back up there where we started and the um, bobby just kept blowing right back into the bank so I moved down the creek a little bit. We've got something having a look at that bobber now. It's fairly slow moving, whatever it is. I nearly reckon the way that's biting it probably could be a yabby. It's only a very small float and he's only just dragging it under. I'll just put a bit of tension on him, make sure there's not a lot of weight on there. There is a fair bit of weight on here, I reckon we've got a yabby. We'll have a look how big he is. Oh yeah, he's a good size yabby too. And look what I've got. Surprise, surprise. I've got myself a net. I'll just have to work out how to use it. It's probably a bit big for a yabby net, but we'll have a crack and see how we go. Oh, look at the size of that fella too, he's a monster. You beauty. I was after a fish, but I'll, I'll take that every day of the bloody week. Have a go at the size of that thing, would ya? Holy dooly. Have a go at him. I'll take that every day of the week. And after me last episode, this big fella is going straight in the esky. 
because I kept throwing them back last time thinking that I was going to get a heap in the traps and end up getting two down there in amongst that big ancient tree. I'm pretty confident this time the traps are going to do better, but we've got one on the board. That bobber's starting to run again. It's getting pulled just under the surface, so that sort of tells me that it's probably another yabby, I'd say. I'll get this net ready. I'll just put a little bit of tension on him just in case it is a fish. But I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a yabby. What do we got? How big is he? Oh, he's not a he's not a massive one. But we'll take him. Oh, this network's a bloody treat, I can tell you. We'll sit that rod back there. And what I'll do while I'm mucking around this yabby, I'll just let that bale out. Because I'm just going to sit that rod there with that worms only just sitting below the surface of the water. We'll check this yabby out. We'll bring him out here where we can see him. I'll tip him straight out onto the ground. No, he's not a bad little yabby. I'm going to change up tactics. I'm going to hook a chunk of meat on there. And throw it out and see if we can get some big yabbies. We've got something to pick that bloody line up now. It's fairly well going for it. I don't know whether that's a bloody yabby or a fish. He's taken it. That's a yabby. That's what we're after. We've got a big chunk of meat on there, but um, I still wouldn't doubt whether a big carp would come along or even a yellow belly would come along and eat that little bit, bit of meat that I got on there. This feels like a fairly decent sort of a yabby. I'll have a look at him. Oh yeah, he's a bit better, this one. Let go of me, mate. Check him out. Get that meat straight back in there. We'll have a look at this fella. He looks nice and clean. He's not a bad yabby, that one. Not the biggest monster, but he's um, beautiful, clean yabby. No eggs, he's going in the pot. I've got the pot on the boil. I've snuck up underneath this train bridge here, to try and get away from that bloody wind. Um, still got me rod in the water. I haven't got a fish since we've been here. I don't even, I've probably got two little bites since we've been here, which is strange because last time we got a heap. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna head down Check these traps and might even throw a line in down there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, we really appreciate it and it helps us out a lot. I just thought I'd give you a bit of a look up this creek while I'm paddling down to these traps. I've actually brought me line, which I'll sit down here because I'm gonna get it taken out. And we'll have a go with the lines up around this um, big old tree. We got a few off the bank back there. So I've made my way down to the kayak to this big old gum tree. Bloody ancient old bloody gum tree. Have a go at it. I'll tell you what, if this thing could tell some stories, I'd have a story or two to tell. We'll see if we can get any on a line here in the kayak. There's something bloody big on there already. Make sure I've got that camera pointed down for you. I've got my little net here. Something bloody decent on there. Oh my God, he's got some weight to him. Look at that. Absolute monster, I thought so. I'll try and I'll get that rod back in there. I'll just sit that in the rod holder. Have a go at this fella. I thought this big old tree would have some... Oh my God. Look at his nipper. He's a big old fighter. Oh, and he's in the kayak with me. <laughs> Check him out. I don't know how I'm going to get him out of there. He's going to have to grab hold of that net again. He's got himself wedged down in the little hole of the kayak. Come here, big fella. 
He almost had me toe. <laughs> he almost had me toe. Check him out. I just got that big bloody monster on the other side of that tree, but I left my bloody hat back in the ute. And that's the sunny side of the tree. It's all shady over here, but as you can see, he traps right there. So what we're gonna do, that trap, the trap's been in for a good, it's been over an hour. So we're gonna have a check and it, it's gonna be a bit bloody um, tight on the kayak here if she's full of um, bloody monsters like that. She's gonna be a bit of a workout. We'll have a look. So the rope's just here and the trap's straight down there. I don't want to stir it up too much. I'll see if I can get the rope with the oar. Yep, you beauty. I'll sit that oar over here out of the way before I pull this trap in. We'll pull him up and see how we go. Oh, there's one on the outside. Oh, not a lot, but there's a couple of bloody good ones in there. I'll get them straight into the esky. And we'll have a look at them when we get back. So we're coming up on our second trap here. We've just got it tied up on this limb. And this is the other side of that little waterway where I just got that bloody big monster. I'll get the rope off here without causing too much of a disturbance. And see how we go. Oh my god, that's a bit better, that one. Holy dooly. Hopefully they don't get me on the toes. That's a lot better of trap. What do we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, and they're nine pretty good ones. Have a go at the fella jammed up in the corner here. Another monster over there. I don't know how good they're showing up on camera. We'll head back to the boat ramp, or what I call the boat ramp. It's just a clear spot and we'll have a look at them. There's a couple of bloody monsters in here. So let's have a look what we got. Done all right, actually. Got some bloody monsters in there. Check this out. I'll tip them out in this bit of a puddle here and we'll have a look. Look at that. And they're all going in the pot today because I'm bloody hungry. I'll pick up a few of the bigger ones and give you a look. Look at this fella. He's a bloody dong and one big fella getting away here. He's a nice one, that one. So we've got approximately 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we end up with about 16 big fellas, which is not a bad little bloody snack, I reckon. I'll just give you a look at what we're doing with the cook up today. Nothing special at all. She's just a straight up boil, and they're nearly done. That's been boiling away there for a good five minutes, I suppose. A um, little bit slow with the fish. I would have liked to got a yellow belly, but um, not even a bite yet. I still do have the rod in behind me. I've got a bell on it, so I can hear if anything's going off. We'll get these yabbies off and have a taste and see how they go. They look bloody good. There's a couple of lobsters in amongst this lot. Look at this. Have a go at this fella. Cooked up absolutely bloody beautifully. Not a bad little feed there. I've got this big fella here peeled. I'm gonna crack into his tails in a minute. I've got the perfect spot here. I've got a bit of cement and heaps of little rocks to bust their nippers open and chew at them. But have a go at the tail meat on him. Have a go at that for a mouthful. It's bloody almost like a lobster. A couple of bites in this one. Oh, they're nice and fresh too. Absolutely lovely. Anyway, I'll get into these. I'll tell you what, there was two massive big mouthfuls in that big fella. Almost like a lobster. Till next time, we'll catch you later.